Hello, my name is Paul Harrison and I am a promoter's rep for a company called DHP Family based in Nottingham in the UK. I'm in New Zealand on holiday. This time I've managed to hook up with some friends called Fat Freddy's Drop. In the UK we promote uh, Fat Freddy's shows. On the day of the show I basically look after them and uh, make sure that the show goes okay and they get everything they need. I'm not sure if it was 2008, but it was basically half a dozen shows ending up with two nights at the Roundhouse in London. And to be brutally honest, I hadn't heard of Fat Freddy's Drop before then, so I had to go and look it up and still was not quite sure what to expect. Not only are they an amazing band live and on record as well, especially with the new album, but they're just fantastic people to work for and work with and uh, I'd like to think that we've kind of become friends. Coming to New Zealand to see Freddy's was interesting, just to see them in their own environment. You know, obviously when they're, when they're in the UK or they're touring in Europe, I guess they're a little bit out of their comfort zone because they're so far away from home. But seeing them in their own backyard has is, is been a great experience. So well, the guys went diving for power, so I went around for a barbecue. And there's a technique to get them off and to actually be able to cook them. I have to say it caused huge amounts of intrigue with everybody because there were so many different recipes for cooking them. And I think we tried nearly all of them that night. And there was quite a few people cooking. Uh, Alicia was cooking. Dallas was cooking. Dallas made one of the dishes, which he was very proud of. I can see where Freddy's come from now, that all these influences kind of come together. The guys in the band are all into different things in so many different ways but it all kind of brings it all together. New Zealand's all about adventure and living off the land, if you like, in a great climate. It's very outdoorsy and people are always doing things and there's a huge passion for food and drink over here and Freddy's are definitely involved in that and it's great to see them like that. Back in the UK, I've just done tours with the Lumineers and Nick Cave and we work with Ed Sheeran and Passenger. We had a huge announcement that Freddy's are coming back over to the UK. It will be their biggest ever UK show. So they're going to be playing at Alexandra Palace, or Ali Pali as it seems to be known, which would be amazing. I think the capacity is sort of up to 10,000. You'll get people travelling all from all around the UK to come and see them. And it's a total cross-section of, of fans, really. The live shows have always been good. Well, more than good, they've always been amazing. But this new album has just taken it to another dimension. It really has. Working with the likes of Freddy's proves that, you know, that it's not really work. <laughs>